God made women pregnant. God knows what he's doing. We men, we don't have patience. It's the woman that has the patience to deal with this life when it comes. It's this little small creature. <clears throat> and after the baby has had the freedom from the womb of his mother, that's a sign. God is telling us something when the woman is pregnant. He's telling us something. And what is he telling us? He's telling us that we should never let anything put us in prison. That's why the only prison life that we have originally is that from our mother. And in that prison life, it was a life of constant evolution, constant change in her body to take us from this little small microscopic thing to this huge, this huge dignified creature that you are right now. Yes, I don't care if you smoke reefers, I don't care if you drink wine, I don't care what you do. That has nothing to do with your dignity that God created originally. Those things are just a, a diversion. Those things are just a mistake in the life of human beings. I know what I'm doing. I'm saying this for a reason. Okay? And so the human mind, the human being, is not to be seen as a physical body. You, you see this beard and this mustache that I have? That's not the human. This hair that I have is not the human. Those shoulders that you have, that's not the human. The human being is this excellent creation that you can't see with your human eye. You can't see it. That you are invisible. Can you tell me what color thought is? Thought has no color. Can you tell me what color love is? Has no color. So the most powerful part of you is the invisible part. And when you are not taught like this, when you don't hear this kind of language, then you become victim of alcohol and drugs because you think you are the physical body. When God has made you the mental body, which has the power over the physical body. Yeah, this is the freedom that the human beings needs, especially in America. Yeah, they have taken God out of the school. No more God. Why are there no more God? Because that's the only controlling factor that you have. That's the power for self-control. And when you take God out of the consciousness of the human being, then you make the human being subject to commercialism. Yeah, then you can sell that person cocaine, heroin, alcohol. Why? Because he's no longer rooted. You know, when you have a ship, the ship can go on water. You know that, right? But the most important thing for that ship, it has to have a rudder. You know what I'm talking about, a rudder? So the ship can go right and left like that, the rudder at the back of the ship. So the same with the human being. The human being has to have something that directs his life, something that directs her life. And that which directs your life is God. Some people say his name is Elohim. Some people say his name is Yahweh. Some people say his name is Allah. Doesn't matter what name you want to call him. You know that you don't have the power over your own self, if you're honest. Me, I'm a surgeon. I don't have the power over my own self. If I did, I would be able to work when I'm sleeping. You know what I'm saying? When I'm sleeping, I'd be able to do things, but I can't do things when I'm sleeping. And God has shown me that you don't have the power that you thought that you had. You see? So I don't know people, whatever your faith tradition is, and I'm speaking like this because we have guests here from the elevated society, quite a few of them here, that Brother Rahim bought, brought, and they are not Muslims. And we have to respect them. We are Muslims. We don't trick people to come to the religion of Islam. We don't trick people. Anything you do, you should do it with a free choice and a free mind. Okay? So when you next time you stand in front of a mirror and you see yourself in the mirror, then tell yourself that that is not the person that God made. No. This thing right here is like I said, it's a physical body. That's all we need. Physical body. But the physical body, look, my hand is raised. My hand didn't go up by itself. My mind I'm trying to make this plain for a lot of people. If I turn like this here, my body doesn't turn on its own. My mind turned that body. Okay? And this is the focus and this is the emphasis that you have to have. You have to come into your real identity. And your real identity is not that flesh body. 
There's many people need what I'm saying. They need this desperate today. Okay. You are the thinking. You are the abstract reality. And this is what Jesus came to teach. This is what Moses came to teach, believe it or not. And Muhammad the prophet, some of them all believers, these are blessings of honey. He was the one that gave and brought it in the clearest and most language. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to sit down and say this. Allah, from my right at the path, oh God, I seek your mercy, urge you, that I have to me, and do not leave me, il est nefsi tarifat al Oh God, do not leave me to myself. You know, when you have a dog, it's your dog. Don't you have a leash on that dog? The dog not left to himself. When you drive your car, don't you have a steering wheel on the car? The car is not left to itself. These things have to be guided and driven. So the same with the human being. I'm talking to you. You should talk to God like this. Oh God, do not leave me to myself because I don't have the power. I don't have self-control. This is the saying of Muhammad the Prophet. This is not for me. Well, let me and reconcile, share me all my faith. <clears throat> because too many of us have messed up not only our lives, we messed up the children's lives, the husband's wife, the wife's life, messed up on the job. Well, let me share me and rectify my faith. Every single one of those says, God, there is nothing to be worshipped except you. Some people worship a cigarette. Got to have a cigarette. <laughs> you understand? That's your God. Some people, blah, 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 blah. You know, why not? Some people say, I'm not making mockery. I'm showing how you, this dignified creature that God me, you're supposed to be over everything. And these small things are commanding your life. I hope I'm making this clear to you. Some people can't get up in the job for 8 o'clock in the morning. They can't get up. Sleeping, over sleeping, but they can get up on time to get a reefer. They can get up on time to get cocaine. I hope I'm helping some of you. And I'm not saying this to you who have strength and power or you really have self-control. You need this information to share with your children, with your ne with your neighbors. That's why I'm giving it to you. We have Dr. Mirosov from FIU campus. He teaches on North and South campus. And he has a message he's going to give us after your So I'm going to make my comments very, very short. <clears throat> but I want to say this to you so that you will be <laughs> to progress in your life. <clears throat> and God says to us, Allah al-Khamakas but under the bill of poverty, it is he who has created the, he the heavens and the earth in truth. Okay. <clears throat> we call this a body, but this is sunlight. This, this is water. This is air. This thing is dirt. And scripture says, La tara ta bunna tabata na tabata. And you and I, we are evolving stage by stage. So it's saying that there's never a time, honorable people, when you are not evolving, when you're not growing. The skin here on the outer layer of your here is constantly falling off, and new cells are being made. God is never finished with you. He doesn't let you hold old dead skin. It, look, if you had the skin that you had when you was a baby, you'd be weighing about a thousand pounds. So God, he doesn't let you carry all that dead weight around. You, you throw out that dead weight, and God gives you new cells, new, new skin. And you should be intelligent as a Muslim. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have Santa Claus mentality as a Muslim, Easter mentality as a Muslim. The decker is never out to think. And thinking, for thinking is beneficial. Okay? 
And this is what's wrong with the Muslim world. The Muslim world has stopped calling on Muhammad the Prophet, has stopped being challengers here, has stopped being competing, com competition here. I'm talking about the Muslim, the whole Muslim world. And they disrespect that scripture, they disrespect the Quran, they disrespect Muhammad the Prophet. They have betrayed the Quran and Prophet Muhammad and his Islamic religion and look at the condition of the Muslims in the world. Okay? <clears throat> you want to see a better situation for the Islamic life? Then you have to live the Islamic religion. You have to make your salat five times a day. Best you can. You have to read your Quran every day. You eat every day, you breathe every day. That's not the best thing for your mind. The best thing for your mind is the word of God, the Quran. Yeah. So God says that he created this after life. Then he said, coin by your coin. God said, be, and it is. His brother here, God said, be. That sister back there, God said, be. Not your mama, not your daddy. God said this. That's why you have an existence. And honorable people matter, don't matter. This material thing, it conforms to the laws that are created for it. The tree conforms, the cloud conforms, diamonds conform, whatever gold, it conforms to laws that were made for it. That's why we love those things. Then what about you and me? Should we conform to the matter? And to the law that's been made for us. Yeah. Law. <clears throat> Anybody who wants to be the leader in this society, I'm telling you, and I'm telling you how to vote. I'm going to tell you how to vote in this next election. Oh, you're going to tell us to vote Republican? You're going to tell us to vote Democratic? No. But I'm telling you, the next president should and must be. The noble man or woman that is truest to the nature that God created. That's what you vote for. You vote for the person who's, who looks like they are conforming to the best that God made. The best thing is here. Look, see right here? This is the best is here. The best heart, the best lungs, the best kidney is here. And so look, this is the government here. This is the government. The ruler is here, and his subject is his hands, his feet. Am I making that clear to you? Okay, so if I rule this thing as an individual correctly, then my government politically should be patterned after me individually. Look, this is Islam. This is the political philosophical position of Islam. I challenge anybody. You know what I mean? So, may Allah bless you <clears throat> to grow and come more and more to the idea, the real identity of yourself, that you are not blonde hair and blue eyes and black skin and black hair, that's not you. That's the car that you drive around in. This all this is, it's an automobile. And the driver, the driver's inside. And we have to respect that driver that God made. So I say to you, there is but one God, and the proof that there's only one God is only one of you. You are only one person. That's all you are. I know two people in here, three people in here like they lied to me and told me when I was in medical school. They told me they say 16 people in such and such a place. That's what they told me. They took me to a psychiatrist. I'm closing my eyes. They, they, they say it's 16 people in this person. So, the, so we was in, we was in, we was in medical school. And so they, they said, they had a person sitting there. And they said, okay, uh, Peter, you stop talking. So Peter stopped talking. Then he said, now Richard, you talk. Richard started talking. Then he said, Mary, you talk. And Mary started talking. All these different people was talking in this one person. Now they trying to trick a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. You can't play that game on me. So, so they had this 